entire Duke family. Thank you for letting me on the Instagram and everything like that. After this post, I will be logging off. I simply wanted to publicly announce that the verdict of the Kyle Rittenhouse case has been nothing more than a disgusting reminder of what it's really like to be black in America. All the protesting, everything we went through in 2020, we, we really would think would make a change, but clearly it doesn't. We scream Black Lives Matter, but it doesn't matter enough for these people who are in power, the jury, the judge, anybody, to charge this man with murdering and taking away two beautiful black lives, two beautiful black lives, two beautiful black lives, two beautiful black lives, two beautiful black lives. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is I, the doctor, professor, philanthropist, gynecologist, veterinarian, cafeteria lady, dog walker, cat walker, rat mice extraordinaire, and orange chicken connoisseur, Ruin Leon, back again to teach the young minds on how to not be stupid on the internet. And I feel as though I can finally say it. I am the smartest man in existence. I may not know my basic math. I may not know how to solve the Pythagorean theorem. I may not know how to tie my own shoes, but at least I have keen eye attention span. At least I don't lose track of things within five seconds. At least, at the very least, my future pupils, I do not get my information from blue check marks. I thought we were done with Kyle Rittenhouse because despite everybody crying at the top of their lungs that everything's white people's fault, that kid acted in self defense fucking right now is not guilty are you fucking kidding me this is why black indigenous people of color cannot motherfucking trust white people because they can carry a motherfucking ar-15 walk around in the crowd and motherfucking kill people and not go to jail it's like wisconsin's gonna fucking burn tonight all five charges all five fucking charges not guilty un fucking real if you don't know what white privilege looks like look no goddamn further look no fucking further he got away with murder and gets to walk scot-free on fucking believe it he proved it his lawyers proved it and it's over oh the judge is white oh there's only one person of color in the jury obviously he's gonna get off scot-free because he's white and white privilege and supremacy and blah blah blah, 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 blah. i don't care it's over you prop this kid up like he's some hero he's not you want to make him the next media mogul he's not he's just somebody who was propped up and wanted to be seen as an example that white people can't get away with things but the sad part is he acted in self-defense that's it we should all be moving on with our lives right wrong because we live in the land of the idiots and for some reason this was brought up in a book of all things now i don't read because massa didn't teach me but at least i can comprehend a little bit of stupid so allow me to read an excerpt from this book or consider 17 year old kyle rittenhouse who used his semi-automatic weapon to kill two black men in kenosha wisconsin while waging a glorious race war on behalf of his inherited white power that's not to mention the white people who rallied behind him to post his bail fear has gripped the patriarchy and the threat of the right violence or lethal use of it is the patriarchy's response now i don't even know where the hell this book is from i don't even know if i could buy this i want to buy it and i want to put it on a wall to show everybody when i'm rich and famous and I got robots touring people all across my home. I can show them a book with a passage of so much fucking stupidity in it because at least you could deduce that Kyle Rittenhouse didn't shoot anybody who was black. He shot three white dudes. Whoops. That ain't even the best part. After this was found in a book months later, the author, after getting criticized to literal hell over this, decided to give her opinion and let the world know that even though she was wrong, there's still a problem. On page 341 of The Good Kings, I state that Kyle Rittenhouse shot two black men when instead he shot two white men. That was my mistake and I apologize. Good, it should have stopped. 
stopped right there. You made a mistake. You got your information from blue check marks on Twitter. They were wrong. You were wrong. Apologize is over. There shouldn't be more to this tweet, but unfortunately, this response has been a hateful stew of ridicule and denial that America has a race problem at all. If one mistake in a little known book about ancient Egypt licks this much howling, it is to avoid discussing our larger problem, to avoid seeing our deep-seated obsession with patriarchal power. So yeah, tiny detail on the book with a big mistake about a massive American issue, and that's on me. But the white supremacy is still a problem, and the misogyny is still a problem. So since you're complaining about white supremacy, I, black man, somebody you're supposed to be afraid of, somebody you have to cater to now because white people bad, black people good, will give you a little bit of information that you need to know. Come close to me, I got something to say. Listen, you're stupid. You allowed your emotions to dictate what you put in a book that's up for sale. You thought that was wise. And for some reason, after all this time passed, nobody on your team decided we should probably get all those books back and change that. We still decided to post that up for people to see. And now that the criticism is coming, everybody's in denial about America's issues. No, no, no. We're just having fun laughing at you because you, my darling, are a stupid human being. And and you decided to post an apology while still blaming people for rightfully criticizing you. And I'm here to let you know, as a black man, the most disrespected group in American history, the most disenfranchised group in American history, the most humiliated group in American history, I'm here to let you know, you sound fucking stupid. And that class is a lesson on how to deal with people who provide non-apologies and still blame you for the things that are of their own fault. I hope you all take this moment and realize that if you want to be a future author, you want to be a narrator, you want to be some book reading bastard who spends all day collecting books, I got one piece of advice, just one, just only one piece of advice, get the facts. This has been the doctor, philanthropist, gynecologist, cookie monster, Elmo extraordinaire, and I'm here to let you all know I'm never going to steer you wrong. I don't want you to look stupid like this woman on social media. I don't want you to look like a dumbass. I don't want you to post the wrong information, then get embarrassed and still say that people are hating on you. It's never rightful criticism. It's just everybody hating. No, you're a dumbass. Take your dumbass lick and move on with your life. Subscribe to the channel. I I'll see y'all in the next one. I feel like this is great. I got my swag back. I got my energy back. I've been sick for a while. Food poisoning. Don't get food from a truck anywhere. And I feel like I'm back in action. So I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad I can put a smile on all your faces. Sexiest black YouTuber is out.